Hello, I'm Superintendent Kurt Browning. With the school year ending in a couple of days, it's important for me to take this time to thank you for your work this year. I want to thank all of our principals, assistant principals, district office, and school staff. We all know that you are on the front lines attending to the needs of our students and giving your best every day. Your dedication is second to none, and our students and families are lucky to have you. In fact, our outstanding staff was one of the first things I noticed when I became your superintendent in November of 2012. There's no question I inherited a system with great staff and strong community support. This has been a year of transition. I have talked with many principals, teachers, parents, and students from across the county on how we can build a stronger future together. I know the future offers no guarantees. The world is changing and we have to move fast to catch up. What our kids need to know and be able to do is very different than it was just 10 years ago. Across the country, schools are working to provide higher quality instruction than ever before to ensure that all children will graduate high school with the skills they need to be successful. This year, our own schools implemented the Common Core State Standards in kindergarten and first grade. Young children arrived in kindergarten with wide varying knowledge. Having academic standards provided a roadmap for learning and helped set clear and consistent expectations for students, parents, and teachers. From what I saw and heard, there was a noticeable difference in teaching and learning under these new standards. Teachers were able to focus on key skills students must learn and students were able to build a strong foundation for success. Next year, implementation of the Common Core English Language Arts and Mathematics will be introduced in more grades. I believe in rigorous academics and high performance. A strong academic program has to be the bedrock of our system. I want our students to read a lot, read well, and love to read. I want our students to complete Algebra 1 by 8th grade. I want our students to write well, understand their history, engage in science, appreciate the arts, and so much more. I want us to provide opportunities for our most gifted students to be challenged and engaged. I want us to continue to provide the services and support to students who need a little extra help so they can realize their full potential. We must continue to provide these opportunities for each and every one of our children. We are their opportunity. But academics are no longer enough. Another critical element of success involves the 21st century skills our students will need in college, the workplace, and life. We need to teach them to be innovative thinkers, good communicators, and creative problem solvers. They must work well in groups and with people of different opinions and viewpoints. They have to be able to apply academic knowledge and skills to real problems. This is why we will be working hard to expand our CTE and choice programs and to increase our partnerships with industry so that our students can experience the kind of problems that many of you confront every day. One learns how to solve problems by solving problems, not by being tested on the theoretical steps of problem solving. A third element of success our students need is related to the social emotional competencies that are so essential to navigating an increasingly complex world. How do our students respond when the answer isn't clear or when they fail? How do they interact with others and have empathy for people with a different background or viewpoints? How do our children resolve conflict? I became the superintendent in Pasco County to help chart a new path to the future. Our students have hopes and dreams for their future, but many may not have the opportunities to make those dreams a reality. So it's up to us, working together, to provide the opportunities, supports, and services that enable their success in life. Once we understand who our kids are, we have to understand and implement what our graduates need to be successful in the world. This will require an enormous investment in the capacity building of teachers, administrators, and staff in knowledge management systems, in technology, and in communication and engagement so that people understand our changing world. We will have to purchase different materials and perhaps even rethink how we use time every day. We have to be courageous enough to take a hard look at what we currently do and ask if it will prepare us for the future. I honor the education profession and recognize that in order to prepare students for college, career, and life, we all have to play a role in holding each other responsible and helping each other get better. I am committed to collaborating with our people on developing our professional growth system. Any leader knows the best investment you can make in an organization is an investment in your employees.
The bottom line is that a well-trained and highly supported workforce will better be able to serve our students and provide the interventions and guidance they need to be successful. This is not about individual success. This is about team success. That's why we are building strong professional learning communities. As we transition through the summer, we will expand our professional development opportunities for teachers and administrators. We know that it is crucial that we provide training, coaching, and resources in the transition to the Common Core State Standards to ensure successful implementation. We will begin negotiations with the United School Employees of PASCO. The legislature did allocate more funds for public schools, but most of it comes with strings attached. Take the teacher raises, for example. I am grateful that we are getting funds to be able to offer raises, but I wish the legislature had not been so prescriptive. I want all of our employees to know that we will do everything we can to spread those funds as widely as possible. Our intention remains to offer every eligible staff member a raise next year. My commitment is to make the District School Board of Pasco County a place where people seek out employment. I want parents to look at us as the best school district for providing quality education for our students. Thank you for a terrific school year. Have a great summer. I look forward to seeing everyone back here next year for what I hope to be the best year Pasco Public Schools has ever seen. It is truly a privilege to be your superintendent and I thank you for your support.